Well, well. Fancy seeing you again. So, I was wondering, do you have a moment? There's a place I'd like to show you. Would you come with me? Very well. Uh, great! Follow me! It's this way! Okay, we're here. This is it. This is... It's pretty rare to have a whole field of weeping lilies, huh? This place was... Uh... Well, it means a lot to me. It's so beautiful. I knew you'd like it. I'm glad I plucked up the courage to ask you here. You know how I said I've been looking for someone all this time? You did. I always acted like I was so sure I was going to find her. But to be honest, I'm thinking of giving up. I realized something the last time we met. I was only doing it out of desperation. I think I'm finally ready to accept the truth. I'm never going to see her again. But you have gone through so much to give up now. It may not be too late for you to... She's dead. <sighs> She's dead. I think I've known that all along. This is the spot where Nora was attacked by monsters. I just couldn't bring myself to accept that, you know? I wanted to believe she was still out there, somewhere. Sorry. You've got enough to worry about without hearing my life story. It's just... I felt compelled to tell you, for whatever good that does me. Anyway, I think I'm finally going to settle down in a sleepy village someplace. Thanks for hearing me out. <sighs> Maria! You okay there? Whoa! What is that? Where could Armand have gone to? It's been gone a while now. <gasps> Armand! You're hurt! What's happened? Run, Nora! Run! Huh? Soul stalkers! Come on! We've got to get outside! Run! <gasps> what? Don't look back, Nora! Just run! Damn it! Now what? Don't stop! Just keep running! Armand? It's okay. 
You go on ahead. Armand, what are you... Nora, meet me back here. In the field. Armand, no! Let me come with you. Armand! Who are you? Please. Don't kill me! At last, my search is over. Superb. This is the soul I've been looking for. What was that? Wait, did you just see that too? I... I was... attacked. Here. And... I tried to save you. And... Armand. Nora! <laughs> Nora, I can't believe it. I never thought I'd see you again. Armand. It's good to see you too. I just knew you were still alive. But... Nora, you look... I know. Armand, I'm not... human anymore. I was turned into a Valkyrie by Odin who has tasked me to save this world. Save the world? I don't care what Odin told you to do. Come with me. What? Now? You're human. You don't have to fight as one of his servants. Armand. I cannot. Not yet. How come? I know in my heart that I was once Nora. But this body is a Valkyrie. And as a god, there is still something that must be done. But do you have to be the one to do it? I am the only one who can. And if I run from it now, I shall regret it forever. Okay. Oh. I'm sorry, I... <sighs> Don't be. I'm just bitter, I can't go with you. Go. I'll wait for you. Thank you, Armand. I'll see you soon. Good luck out there, Nora. Be safe. All of you. We need to talk.
It's about that hollow blossom. About the memories of Yggdrasil. It was hard to believe, but... I think that is in fact the truth of this world. I agree. And given the All Father's behavior, he may have been hoping to hide it. If that is the truth, then what should I do now I have seen those memories? I have come to a conclusion. When I was created, I was empty, given only my duty to save the world. I followed my orders without question or thought, but after meeting you and the other humans, something grew inside me. And now I know what it is. It is my own will. A will formed from both my human half and my Valkyrie half. I shall no longer be beholden to Odin, nor his claimer of souls. I now know that I truly want to save this world. I want to save it as a person and as a deity who belongs to this world. And if something stands in my way, I shall remove it. Even if it is Fenrir, or the Allfather himself. I feel the same. Let's go forward together. I... I want to help this world. And I want to help you. Hmm. I will fight even the gods themselves if I must. We in Heriar swear to serve you, Valkyrie. So, we'll be going against the gods then. The stronger the enemy, the more fun it will be to see them fall. We are here to assist you. Thank you, all of you. Then we should get to Fenrir first. Valkyries, kill one another. Kill. Kill the Valkyrie. Take care of this, Selfie. If you'll allow me. I'll be standing by. Worthy of a human. It is an honor to aim. to the very end. Fenrir! I shall strike you down. What fools you are, defying the gods. <laughs> Loyal Cypher, heed my call. <laughs> Let's put them on ice. Now, Eagle! If you need 
body snatcher. I'm your man. I've fulfilled my duty here. To my son, my noble Imperial Titan. I can be a good Not on my part. Christopher, it is up to you. I can handle this alone. This is the true work of a knight. We are not done yet. I can handle this alone. To my side, my noble Inherior Tycho. I can be abused. You underestimate us, Fenrir. This is where it ends. Wait. I cannot take your words as truth. Oh. But I also cannot dismiss all that you said as false. Some of what you said makes sense. I have returned from Midgard, Allfather. Indeed you have. What have you to report? Before I do, Allfather, there is something I must ask you. <sighs> Be brief. The salvation of the world you've spoken of. Do you intend to return this world to nothingness and to move on to another? Please, Allfather. Do you intend to destroy all those who remain in this realm? What are you saying? It seems Fenrir's lies have clouded your senses. Allfather, the Valkyrie is worried. You cannot blame her for her curiosity. How are you so easily deceived? Everything coming out of that thing's mouth is a lie. Then may we implore your patience once more for an explanation. No. You are to slay Fenrir without delay. Then it is true. What? I have fought. All Father, to save this world, believing it to be the sole reason for my existence. But all of it was a lie. My mission to save the world, my memories, my very existence, every piece of it. So you remember. My soul is mine, and mine alone. And speaking for those souls you have tormented, I say this. We are not your puppets. <sighs> it seems you were yet another failure. Enough. And Heria, it is time to remember your true master.
My head. Christopher! Ah! Valkyrie! Tyker! Slay the Valkyrie. <gasps> By your command, all father, we shall obey. Cypher! Egon! No! No! Do not give in to his will. You are all to be purified, per Odin's decree. <laughs>
I am fond of you as any creator would be towards their creation. And for that, I shall not make you suffer. You shall not touch her. You shall have to go through us. How are you still alive? <sighs> Isn't that interesting? I guess there are some things even the omniscient All-Father doesn't understand. You underestimate humanity. Your control was... sloppy. Ha! <laughs> you dare challenge your own creator? I do. And on my own terms. The holy laws... I've fulfilled my duty here. To my side, my noble Imperial Eagle. We are not done yet. I cannot stand by. Such a foolish error. I can handle this alone. <laughs> Celestial Spear! Sentence to guilt! Divine Assault! Nibelung Valeki! How can... 
such a puny god. Wield so much. You are not the first god to be so dismayed. You lose, Odin. My mission as All Father is over. This world will soon wither, as will you all. Something even Fenrir knows not. What do you mean? The world has been reborn. Countless cycles of decay and renewal. The waning of the realm marks the end of Yggdrasil and of life itself. That is Ragnarok. The ceaseless, perpetual destruction of the world. Without a new world to replace the old, everything will perish into nothing. That... That can't... You are a fool, Valkyrie. You are now the destroyer of the world. This world's story will come to an end. Forever lost. This is your doing. If Odin spoke the truth, then this world will eventually perish. Do you regret what you've done? I do not. But at the same time, I cannot be certain that it was right. Then we should really think about our next move. What will you do now? Valkyrie? I intend to keep an eye on Fenrir and help the people of Midgard. With all due respect, Valkyrie, perhaps assuring a certain young man of your safety should be your priority right now. But I couldn't. What with... You're still stuck thinking like a Valkyrie. We fought all this time to save the world. I think it's only right for you to do something for yourself now. A little respite will do no harm. Go, see him. Thank you, all of you. Well, after everything, we are still here. We may as well see it through to the end, at her side. 